Hi, my name is Gary Mitnick. I'm a sculptor here in Sedona, Arizona, and I'm here on behalf of Expert Village. This is the liquid polymer that we use for the initial dipping. The other tank over there is for the other coats. Um, and this will pick up the detail. And we start off with a very, very fine, very fine sand. This is called zircon sand. It's very dense, very fine, almost, almost to a flower consistency. And that coat, that's the first coat, which just gives us the detail. And then as we dip each time, we go into different sands, which increase in size. And that's how we do it, back and forth. We dip it into the buttermilk, as it were, and then into the flour. Do a little tour. This is how we do the coating of the sand. Some people just throw sand on it. This is what's called a fluidizer. Just like an avalanche, you can't push your hand into it until you add air. Then it fluffs very nice and easy. Coating the piece evenly and without a lot of stress on the piece. It's very fluid, it's light and fluffy. And then when we pull it out, it's all sandy, and we let it dry. And we do this five to seven times, depending on the size or the complexity of the piece. Then you're left with a shell that's yellow. It starts off green and dries to yellow. This lets us know when it's dry. We drill the relief holes, and now we'll go to the burnout, and you'll be able to see a burned out shell and how we actually do it.